Hi guys! So, you might have seen the parts of an arthropod video and the parts of my analid video so far. So it's going to be a pretty similar process for this. But if not, we're going to start here with parts of a mollusk. Mollusks, you guys. So, if we talked about these seven kingdoms for um, how we classify living things, we have the kingdom of Animalia. Mollusks, spelled M-O-L-L-U-S-C, are a phylum of rats. And they've been around for quite a while. They include things like clams, snails, and octopus, and they can live either on land or in water. You guys have a couple different categories here for things that you have. You have some blank things that just have a picture of our mollusk, in this case a snail. And that guy there. Um, we have our definitions and our control and our labels and our um, first part, our three part grid. So we're going to move these guys down here. I don't need them yet. I take our definitions and move this guy over here. I am going to have you guys go get your cards and go through doing this with me together. So you guys are going to do the same thing that I'm doing, laying these out. And once I've got them laid out, I will pause for a moment so that you guys can this with me. I do while we, so I'm going to pause first. Cool. Hopefully you guys pause me and went and got your stuff. I do have a shell here that was once used by a mollusk, a snail to be exact. It was an aquatic snail and it passed away due to old age and I kept it shell because quite frankly it was massive and awesome. Um, so if you have a fish tank you might have some snails in that. I also have another small itty bitty little snail shell that was from a baby snail that I had that passed away as well. Which is super tiny here. Super itty bitty. So comparing sizes to different species as well, we can see that snails and mollusks come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes. If you have clam shells or have ever seen one before, then you also know that is true for clams and such as well. Different shapes, different sizes, and different shells. One main thing for mollusks is that they all have some similar characteristics no matter what they are. So we're going to talk about some of those. My picture here is of a snail. So what it looks like in a clam or in an octopus might look a little bit different. So if you guys wanted to study some pictures of those or maybe some videos if you find some cool ones um, and figure out where those parts are on different mollusks, that would be really cool. So. I'm going to lay my labels out here so I can see each one as we go through them. You guys are welcome to do the same. So, as I said before, the mollusk is a primitive land animal. That means it hasn't really changed much since it first appeared. Um, it consists of a foot, a body, and a mantle. You might be asking me how a clam has a foot. So if you ever see how they open up, Inside, they have something that looks kind of like a long tongue. This is actually their foot that they use to push off and move along the ground with. And so, they, like I said, can include clams, snails, squid, and octopus, and they can live on land or water. So our picture for mollusk is this guy down here. That's our entire thing colored in for our snail, which is the example we're using of a mollusk. The foot of the mollusk consists mainly of muscle tissue. So tissue that is able to move around and do things. Most mollusks, but not all, use that foot to help them move around. Um, in this case for the snail, the soft, flat part beneath the snail is the foot. So. Mm. I think it's this guy. Or this one. What do you think? We'll find out in a moment. But I'm going to put it here. Or foot. So, some mollusks also have tentacles, especially if you think of our friend the octopus or squid. They are slender, hollow tubes that have an eye on the tip. Some mollusks have two pairs of tentacles. So, tentacles. Hmm. A slender, hollow tube that has an eye on the tip. I think for my snail, these would be my tentacles. Kind of like the antenna in an arthropod, but a little bit different. The mantle of the mollusk is a thin covering of, over the main body. 
So in some mollusks, it produces the substance that makes the shell. So snails make their shells. The arthropods, like I showed with the hermit crab in the last video, then use those shells once the original mollusk has passed. It produces the substance that makes the shells. It also can contain a respiratory pore for breathing or gills for getting oxygen from the water, depending on if your mollusk is aquatic, which means it lives in water, or if it lives on land. So the mantle is the part that produces the shell. I'm gonna put down this guy because it's on right underneath my shell. So I would think if anything was gonna produce my shell, it would be that one. Okay. Some mollusks have a shell to protect their soft bodies. The shell grows slowly, getting bigger as the mollusk grows. So it grows with the mollusk. And we all know that this is the shell of our mollusk. Many mollusks also have a head, which contains the eyes or tentacles, and sometimes the mouth of the mollusk, but not always, depending on the type. So the head of my mollusk is going to be this guy. And then the body of the mollusk is soft and contains the heart and other internal organs, just kind of like our bodies do. Many mollusks have a protective covering over the body, which is that shell. So we've got the shell of our snail, and then underneath it we have our body. And if you've ever picked up a snail before, you know that they can draw into that shell and keep their body safe. Um, octopus, for their bodies and mantles, they are very malleable, which means they can change shape pretty easily, so they can fit into really small containers to hide themselves. So how they use that body depends. And finally, we have the tail. Tail of the mollusk is the portion of the animal that extends past the shell, and some mollusks don't even have tails. But our snail here does, and that's his tail. So then what I can go through is I can go through and make sure my cards are correct. So I've got mollusk, I've got the tail, i got the mantle right, so I can see that my labels here match up. Mantle, tentacles, foot, shell, head, and body. What you guys can do with this guy is you can take it and color in each part. So I'm going to color in my body in this case. And you can use whatever color you want. I'm going to color in my body. So I'm going to make sure I'm only coloring in the same part as what's colored in on this. So I don't want to color the shell for this one. I'm only doing the body because that's what I decided to do. So I'm going to color it in. And you guys want to do a pretty good job on this. You don't want to just scribble through and make it not look so great because that leaves you with gaps and white spaces that might make you think that you missed a part of the body or that that's not part of what the mollusk is. So I'm going to write body. Body. And I've done my body. So I'm going to put those kind of next to each other here. And then I'm going to do the tentacles next. So I'm going to color in just the tentacles on this one. Leave everything else blinks, but I know that that is the tentacles. Tentacles. And I know that's what it is, because it's right there. And I've got my tentacles. And when you're all done, you can put these together and make a book of parts of a mollusk. And then maybe as you're on a walk, it might be a little bit too late in the season for this year, but as you're on a walk in the spring, or maybe this fall, you can see what types of mollusks you can find and see if you can identify those parts of them. Or if you wanted to look up a picture of something like an octopus or a um, squid, you could see if you could find it there. Also, I have this page that you can label a real picture of a snail with the different parts that we just found out. You guys are welcome to do as well. I also have it for the arthropod analyt as well. Most of you only have to pick one or two to do this for, but if you want to do all three, you are more than welcome to. This is going to be our work going into next week. Cool. Thanks, guys. Have fun.